What's up guys, today we are reviewing a FIFA 365 2017 edition by Panini as always uh, not as always because it's only the second time this album is released but uh, for the second year in a row and as you can see there are two teams per page uh, which uh, is a little bit awkward for a soccer album, I think. And uh, in the between the team there are those uh, special sections like goal machines or uh, generation next. In terms of the team design, I really like those uh, photos of the cities teams represent. And there is advertisement of. Uh, 2018 Russia World Cup. It's uh, a little bit sad that you will have to stick stickers up on those photos and uh, a form to order missing stickers. Uh, well, from what I have heard, it's uh, a really relevant form, in particular for this album. The collation by Panini is never perfect, but it's especially problematic for this album, and there are those. Small sticker is the same as uh, last year, and uh, they're gonna be uh, uh, eight players per team, and then uh, or like twelve players per team, a uh, team lo uh, team logo and uh, team photo, and uh, teams throughout the whole world are represented. You can see like uh, Atletico Na uh, Nacional from Colombia, Colo Colo from. Um, Chile and then Argentinian teams and uh, football icons. Yeah, that's where I want to go to swim in that beautiful ocean. And uh, Panini is uh, advertising a lot. Actually, these advertisements are a little bit annoying. Uh, you would like to have them only at the end or uh, in the beginning of the album. They look a little bit strange in the middle. Of the album, and uh, at the end there is uh, uh, some advertisement of, uh, about FIFA 2017 by EA Sports, and then, uh, as you can see, apparently we won't have a Confederations Cup album because Panini logo is only uh, the road to World Cup 2018 and the World Cup 2018 competition itself. So apparently, only two albums. No. Confederation Cup album this year and in the back there is only a US flag although I think uh, this version is completely identical to the international version. In terms of the size the album is much larger than a standard Panini album like NHL or NBA or Copa America but in terms of quality there are no real differences uh, between those albums I mean in terms of the paper thickness or quality of the print the box design is so fucking boring without any player photos or anything like that and the only major difference to other sets released in the US is this uh, hologram with a number which is uh, really uncommon in uh, Panini sets like NHL or NBA. The pack is really shiny which is super uncommon for a Panini set and uh, I like it a lot. There are seven stickers uh, per pack. I think only the US and Canadian versions have uh, seven stickers per pack, which is, uh, of course, uh, good. He looks like he wants to get some more vodka. And so apparently there are some puzzle stickers and some uh, unusual design stickers. Uh, the players are represented just by the headshot, but uh, the problem is that uh, uh, they all look uh, very different, so that's probably how the team photo will uh, look like, a little bit boring, just a team celebrating uh, the goal, Frank Ribéry, uh, Rachel Bowser and uh, Lucas Moura. Arian Robin, uh, Melbourne Victory, so uh, the team logo is done on a glossy sticker. And uh, generally speaking, my understanding is that the US version is the same as the unupdated international version of this album. 
so uh, no major differences except uh, there are seven uh, stickers per pack and so the design of the sticker is that uh, on the left side you have uh, the year of, of uh, birth, uh, the nationality, then uh, the position, uh, the year he started the professional career, the food, and then the year he started representing the national team. So uh, Neymar, I'm not sure what is he celebrating because uh, my understanding is that he failed miserably in all national team competitions. Uh, so. Uh, doesn't have much to celebrate and also with Barcelona I'm not sure he's winning much. The stickers are relatively high quality, they are on thick paper, I would say they're better quality than uh, say Euro 2016 or Copa America and uh, certainly much better quality than uh, NBA or NHL uh, stickers, uh, that's how a triple sticker of uh, Auckland City FC's is uh, uh, leader of uh, New Zealand, or oh, I'm not sure, yeah, Auckland is in New Zealand, I think, uh, the leader of the New Zealand soccer, and Mascherano is like really upset here, probably because he lost in the final of uh, 2016 Copa America to Chile by PK, I actually attended that game, and Mascherano and Messi were only two good players for uh, Argentina, uh, River Plate, uh, all other Argentinian players was super bad. I'm not sure I like this golden sticker design, it looks uh, a little bit artificial. I think it would uh, look better if it would be like some kind of uh, holographic card, but on a sticker it's not a very successful design to me. Again a triple sticker of TP Mazembe, never heard of them. Sounds like a Nigerian or some other kind of uh, African team. Socrates Papasta Pap Papa. Shit, I, I drank too much. I can't pronounce that name. Rodrigo Palacios. Uh, I'm actually not sure he ever played for the Argentinian national team because the competition for forwards uh, is really tough there, like uh, Messi, Higuain. Kun Aguero, Palacio is not uh, really competitive. Again, this golden sticker uh, with a strange design. Uh, Denise, Joel Weltman, Boca Juniors, uh, Lega, Lega Warszawa, who won uh, the Polish championship last year. But uh, my understanding is that uh, they miserably failed in the Champions League and didn't manage to qualify, so playing in the uh, Europe, European League or League of Europe. David Lewis always looks a little bit like a clown, but that's uh, uh, funny, I think, and uh, that's good. Tony Cross, uh, Lucas Alario. Yeah, now one of the main advantages of this uh, album is that there are players from uh, all over the world, so. You can actually learn uh, the players uh, you, which are probably going to be some kind of uh, superstars uh, but if they're like uh, now only starting to play in South America. But uh, in a couple of seasons uh, you will see them in uh, top European championships. Manuel Neuer, also some kind of an award sticker and actually I suspect that uh, the, all these uh, very different face expressions uh, will look very funny on the page of the album uh, but uh, when opening the packs it's uh, actually I find it's kind of enjoyable because it doesn't get boring or anything like that it's a different look at Modric in Iguai is smiling Maybe because he had too much ice cream on vacation and uh, gained uh, a lot of weight. Marquinhos of uh, PSG. I'm not sure what is the idea of the FIFA 365 logo at the top of the team logo stickers. Uh, uh, of Uh, that's actually a team photo I really like. I'm not sure which is which team. It's like a Chinese team. Guangzhou Everglades, coached by Luis Felipe Scolari. Actually, coach stickers is uh, something I really miss from this set because it would be very informative.
uh, to have, although I understand that uh, the coaches uh, change so fast that uh, you don't really want to include them uh, because uh, at the end of the season they will be completely different guys in half of those teams. Vidal with a lot of tattoos and uh, Gabriel, I'm not actually recognizing the club, although it's like written uh, at the top, Olympiacos. Uh, Reed Vault of uh, a FC Ajax, Olympiacos FC. Ajax miserably failed in the Champions League qualifier this year's lost uh, to FC Rostov of Russia. Uh, I think it was like 2-2 in Amsterdam and like 4-1 they lost in in Russia. And uh, I'm not sure, this look like stickers inside the stickers. Uh, not sure how to interpret it. Is it like from last year's stickers or so? Like, yeah, that's uh, what I was talking about. A coach sticker of Diego Simeone. Again, this Vasily Berezutsky seeking for a bottle of vodka. Generally speaking, the team selections in this album are a little bit uh, strange to me because, for instance, there's only one a British team. This is FC Leicester, who became the champions. Uh, but uh, at the same time, there are like two teams from Russia, FC Zenit and uh, CSK Moscow. But uh, the most popular uh, Russian team, FC Spartak Moscow, is not included at all, which is a little bit suspicious I would say there are also national team stickers like I just put a, a US a women's national team sticker uh, Bastos and Pishek and uh, Schalke 04 and uh, Robin Van Persie I actually don't understand uh, why Robin Van Persie is still playing uh, in Turkey? I think there would be a lot of demand for him in top European championships because he has a lot of uh, technical skills. And uh, Thiago Silva, who failed miserably at the 2014 uh, World Cup, and another logo. And uh, so, uh, and there's Boca Juniors or Boca Juniors, like they say in Argentina being somewhere in the middle of the Spanish and uh, English pronunciation. I'm not sure if there are men's national teams here, like women's national teams are, are in the album for sure. Shinji Okazaki, Alberto Boria. And uh, at the back of the stickers there are these uh, letters like I here. Uh, usually uh, there are letters like this uh, if you want to, if uh, there is a competition like complete some phrase like FIFA 365 and you can win a prize. In the album I actually haven't seen any mention about the competition like this. These letters were also in the back of the stickers in Copa America. 2016 album like you see F here but uh, there there was also no information about any kind of competition maybe Panini just uh, decides not to Bobo to include them these competitions at the final stage of the album production and this is yeah the only British team in the album and uh, Bruno uh, generally speaking, I find these photos informative, although like in the game photos would be slightly uh, better, but not very far away photos. Uh, the photos uh, where you could see both uh, the motion of the player in his face clearly. Generally speaking, my favorite uh, player uh, sticker designs are from uh, Liga Este collections where you have a uh, player in the motion and then you have a headshot closer to you. Sidhu Dumbia who actually played for CSK in Moscow for a long time. Alejandro Dominguez who played uh, for FC Zenit uh, oh, for a long time as well. Paul Pogba, a terrible player, a 100 million transfer and uh, failed Euro 2016 completely. I don't know, uh, probably the failure of the year to me.
Yeah, it's a very enjoyable set to open packs, a lot of variety. And uh, for instance, compared to Copa America, these different face expressions are bringing a lot of joy in the, the opening process. So I'm very positive about it. Uh, and again, I at the back and uh, FC Milan uh, struggling greatly in the Italian league, but for some reason still included uh, into the album. Uh, that's a double or if not a triple, I clearly remember getting Morish already. In terms of the doubles, I have heard uh, that uh, this set is uh, especially problematic. A lot of people, are, especially in Europe and South America, are struggling to complete this uh, set, even if they're buying like three, uh, four or five. Even uh, six boxes of uh, stickers, but uh, the boxes are a little bit different. They are 250 sticker boxes that is uh, 50 packs uh, by five stickers how do you pronounce this name Marko Mom Momcilovic if you know how to pronounce it just write in the comments because I don't know uh, again uh, Zoran Tosic of CSK in Moscow and the celebration stickers uh, are really odd to me they don't give any and uh, Guido Pissarro actually looks exactly like Rodrigo Palacio. I'm not sure, are they twins or what? Uh, Gedrick Mukambo. What is this COD? What is this country? Congo or... No, one thing which bothers me with respect to the design except the logo at the top of uh, FIFA 365 logo is that there is a lot of space just taken up by this uh, golden frame which uh, is not really informative and uh, is not uh, bringing any extra content or uh, even any extra visual appeal to those uh, stickers Zenith Turo Vidal who had a strong Copa America tournament especially in the semi-final game against Mexico Omar El Omar, blah, 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 blah. Why do they include those players which you can like pronounce at all? It's uh, really painful. And a double sticker and uh, Pen Yarol. That's a really stupid uh, team photo because it only shows like two players from the team and you call it a team photo. It's partially the problem with the design because they only include a circle where the team is pictured but not the whole sticker. I think if the team sticker would uh, be the whole stick uh, would uh, be taken completely by the photo it would be like much better. Overall it's uh, not a bad uh, set by any measure. It's very enjoyable uh, to open and uh, a relatively informative album. Uh, but uh, there are not much difference compared to the previous year. So uh, if you completed this album uh, last year, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know, like uh, because it's not associated with any competition or so. So it's not like really part of the historical collection, uh, like for instance uh, Champions League or um, Copa America or Euros. So. Uh, it's uh, still like a very large and expensive set to complete its Igor I can fail of, uh, which is uh, the leader of the Champions League in terms of uh, goals allowed in the consecutive games. I think he allowed like something like 40 uh, allowed goals in uh, 40 g Champions League games in a row. Ahmed Musa, Giorgio Chiellini, the best. Uh, defender in FIFA games by EA Sports and uh, Sebastian Coates. In terms of doubles, there are actually only 44 doubles out of uh, 350 stickers box, which uh, is around 13%, and uh, this is very little compared to other Panini collections distributed in North America, which uh, tend to have around 20% double stickers inside the box. That's it, like, I would say if uh, you completed this uh, album last year, I wouldn't strongly recommend it, but uh, if not, like, just try it. It's not a bad set by any measure.